Hey guys, welcome back to Strive to Survive, episode 20. And in this episode, we're going to be trying something a little bit different. Uh, the recording of this episode actually didn't go as planned, and my microphone happened to be muted. So I'm actually going to be watching the episode and kind of narrating. So we'll see how this works out. Um, I don't think this is how I really want to do the episodes, but might be how we have to for the next couple that I recorded like this so we'll see but right now we're gonna do a little bit of redstone mining and we found this cavern so we're gonna venture into here and as you can see there's been a little bit of skeleton fighting going on in here but not not too much that was missed off camera so we're gonna try to light this place up and just to be sure we know how to get back, we're going to put a couple more torches on the entrance there. That way, if we get turned around, we'll at least be able to find our way back. And you see, I'm kind of violating my own rule of placing torches only on the right. Um, when you're in a big cavern like this, it's kind of hard to stick to that rule and light everything up. And there's a nice little creeper explosion. So, well, at least he didn't do any real damage but we're gonna light this place up a little bit so we're gonna wander around you can see there's a lot of iron in this area there's some coal but there's not too much else and what we're really looking for is diamonds that's why we're down here um, iron's good coal's good but diamonds are really what we're focusing on so what I'll do is I'm gonna go back and grab all of this these ores but first we're gonna like plug up some of the water flows around here make navigating through this cavern a little bit easier and just focus on lighting up as much as we can so and of course we're gonna have the occasional zombie that we have to fight so and spiders too because why not I mean we're down in a cave. There should be spiders and zombies and creepers and all sorts of bad things. But we're going to make sure to keep our food topped off because while we're fighting down here, the last thing we want is to not be regenerating health. And we know whenever we fight one zombie, it calls a whole bunch of other zombies to help him. So, here they come now. And so we're getting into combat with two of them and we handle them pretty easily but what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to venture down a little bit further light up as much as we can we got a creeper following us we got spiders on us and I think there's a zombie behind us too there sure is we're kinda getting surrounded here luckily we got some stone behind us so we got him just in time but I think they're also dropping down from above so we have to be a little bit careful in this area but we're gonna light up as much as we can to try to eliminate some of those natural spawns that are happening right now and, and like I said before there is a lot of iron in this area we're gonna go back and we're gonna grab all of it just not yet so yeah there's probably some stuff coming from up here so let's take a look and we got plenty of redstone, which we'll probably use in some later projects. So we'll be going back to grab that. And more zombies, because, you know, why not? This place is infested with zombies. No wonder all these ores are down here. No one wants to come down and get them. So we need to dump off some stuff because our inventory is pretty packed right now. And if we want to be able to grab any of this ore, we're going to have to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to make some more torches because we're running pretty low. We used a lot just discovering that little bit of cave that we've dealt with so far. And we'll block off this if we can get to it. But that's not the only one. There's actually another water supply a little further up. So let's get that. There we go. 
And I like to look around in areas like this because we can see there's some nice gold. Anywhere that there's usually lava, there's there's usually some pretty decent materials right next to them. So, and we're back again. And you can tell I've moved a little bit away. We cut a little bit out there. Uh, just some boring mining, but we're back. Let's grab this ore. I've cleared out most of the other stuff down that the tunnel to our left. So I'm just going to dig around a little bit and make sure that there's not any other ores here that we're missing. But we've got to light this area up too. Because as you saw, that creeper came from over here. and We don't want any random creepers just sneaking up on us. And we've got more iron. This area is really rich with iron. And we're back kind of where we started. Um, and apparently a skeleton has moved in on our area. But we've kind of come full circle now. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of coal back there. And we're going to grab all of that, just not right now. Kind of going along in the the one or two chunks that we we see, I'm just grabbing. But the bigger ones, I'm going to come back and grab. So, and we're going to try to make a safe way to get down there. And of course, we've got another creeper who's just going to kind of hide out down there. He uh, he apparently can't get up to us, which is good for us. But we've still got to take care of him. We don't want to somehow have them sneak up on us and then cause problems later so we'll try to get down here safely there we go and we'll light up this area and we've got more redstone and some more lava and of course more iron in this area too so just grab that, dig around a little bit, and make sure there's not any just one block back that we're missing. And get all that redstone. And we'll circle back real quick. And we can see that there's some iron over there, but not really tempted to venture over that way yet. But let's head up here and see if we can't get into some more trouble. Or at least light that area up. And it's actually pretty hard to narrate this after the fact. Uh, I'm really sorry about that guys, I wasn't planning on not recording, I had actually recorded these episodes and thought that they had sound with them, but they didn't. So we're making do, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. Um, we're going to head down this way, this is actually a little bit to the left of where those zombies came out, some skeleton fighting has gone on out here, but there we go, we've got some diamonds. And that's pretty much what we're down here for. So that's right when we come in the, the entrance. It's to the left down a little bit. So we're going to kind of try to secure this area. We don't want to have those diamonds fall on any lava. So we'll light it up and get this redstone as well. And use our water bucket to make this area just a little bit safer. and make sure we relight it up because we don't have that natural light coming from the lava anymore. And I think this area is pretty safe, so we're going to go for the diamonds now. And we just want to make sure, especially the one that's closest to the ground, we want to make sure there's no lava under it. And we'll grab these diamonds. And it looks like it's going to be safe since that... Yeah, so we're good. So we got, I think, four four diamonds, maybe five. Yeah, we got five diamonds out of that. 
which is pretty good. We're getting to the point where we can almost use uh, diamonds for you know random things like weapons and armor. Uh, we've already created the diamond pick and the enchanting table which we really needed to get down into the nether and to enchant our stuff. So now it's more a matter of um, starting to get some weapons and armor and tools that are diamond. But we're also going to grab as much uh, iron as we can because I have a couple projects in mind that are going to require a decent amount of iron. So, and we'll grab coal too because uh, we're going to have to smelt this iron with something. So, and another project later on is going to require quite a bit of coal uh, to do some smelting. So, we're just going to start grabbing it. and more creepers. This place is just full of them. But that's why we're lighting it up. Try to cut down on that a little bit. And we can hear some bad guys. And this is the type of area that I like to investigate is these these areas that are like lava with one block showing because I, I usually find some pretty cool stuff close to the lava. So that's why I kind of knock around these blocks a little bit and see if there's something hiding just on the other side of them. And just keep using our water bucket to kind of clear the way for us and then go back and relight with torches. And just head over this way a little bit. Yeah, and as you can see we're just gonna grab the coal. I mean, it's not like we don't need it. We definitely can use any resources that we're picking up. Um, so there's no no sense in really leaving it if it's in our way, anyways. And we've got more iron. But let's head down here and, and check what's back on the other side of this. It looks like a lot more lava. And like I said, th those areas. Yep, we've got diamonds. So that's why I like to investigate these areas. Ooh, some random dangerous lava there. So we'll light this area up a little bit and then try to grab that. We've got some gold over here too. And some more redstone, but we'll come back and grab that later. We really want the diamonds. So there's one and two. And we've got some more right over there. There's a third. We'll dig around a little bit just to make sure there's not something nice just hiding on the other side of the stone. And we got some redstone out of it, so it's not a total loss. And like I said, we're, we'll need this redstone for a later project, so it's definitely good to gather it. So you can see we've got a total of eight diamonds out of that, and we've got two and a half stacks of redstone from being down here. So, and when we got down here originally, I think I was level 5 experience. We've worked our way just by fighting and gathering coal and all that up to level 22. So we've gained 17 levels already just exploring and, and mining down in this cave. And we'll use those levels uh, to hopefully enchant, for like a higher level enchant on like a diamond sword or something that we're going to create using those diamonds that we've found. So it's definitely, everything we're doing now is going to end up being pretty useful to us in the long run. And we'll just keep clearing along, see if we can't find anything else. And there's a nice little creeper over there, but he's stuck behind the uh, lava flow there, so we don't have to worry about him. He can't get to us. And let's just take a couple shots at him, and I think we're out of arrows. Yep, we are definitely out of arrows. So we're going to have to fight them with our sword. And this is going to be, we're going to have to, yep, here he comes. But he was pretty low on health already from that shot that he took, so. And yeah, this is not a good place to really be because creepers and stuff can drop down from over there and hit us from behind. So I think we're going to try to go up there, maybe well, exactly what they're doing right now. The zombies coming down here to try to fight us, so 
think what we should do is go over there and light that up before we venture closer to that lava because we definitely don't want to get pushed in. And we definitely want our food to be full up before we try to fight anything else. Oh, and we got another guy over here. Dressed kind of fancy. Yep. And he's got a friend too. So take them out real quick. And gather up all their experience because why not? We're almost at level 23. So fighting those guys has of course called all their friends. So we're going to face a little bit of problems with zombies here, but nothing we can't really handle. But yeah, before we go closer to that, we should light this area up. So we'll just get up here real quick. Throw some torches up here. And see, because that skeleton could have shot us right into that lava if we weren't careful. So that's why we needed to light that area up. We'll just play it smart and wait for him to come to us since we're out of arrows. And we've got a ton more iron up here. A little bit of redstone. And there's probably some stuff over there, but we're not going to venture over there right now. Now that we've kind of lit this area up, I think we can go back down there and make sure there's nothing that we're missing over by this lava. And we'll throw up some more torches. And we got more lava. Just take care of it now, that way we don't accidentally step in it. coal and some water. If you guys are wondering, I always try to patch the water um, before going through it. That way um, it's kind of a indication that we've already been through there. I don't if I leave the water flowing then I kind of have the tendency to think, hey, we haven't been this way. So that's why I always seal it up. And I try to use dirt for most of the patch jobs. That way you can kind of tell if you're... Or, I mean, cobblestone would work as well. Since it doesn't naturally occur um, in caves other than with flowing lava and water. And there's a creeper behind us. He snuck up on us real nice. But we did manage to get a piece of flint out of that, which is good. Because we're going to need that to make some arrows. And I think that might be our only piece of flint. We're just going to finish clearing this room. And then I think we're going to head back up to the surface and kind of take stock of what we've uh, managed to grab on this little journey. And we kind of don't need the zombie flesh. I would rather carry uh, extra cobble than some zombie flesh. It's kind of worthless to us at this point. If you could cook it and maybe like turn it into leather or something, then it would be a lot more useful. But you can't really do too much with it except to eat it and get poisoned. And we have way better food sources than that right now. So, But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up to the surface. And I'll catch up with you guys when we're up there. So, see you guys in a bit. Get out of here, skeleton. Alright guys, we're back up at the surface. You can see that it is night out. So, we've started smelting. And I want to show you guys a couple more things before we end this episode. So, you can see I've smelted some gold. And we've got a little bit of iron going. But I want to show you guys... I know we've mentioned it previously, you can use the lava bucket as a fuel source. So here's how you do that. We're just going to drop the lava bucket in there. And when the f fuel from the coal is actually done, we'll uh, see how this starts to work. And we probably should drop some of this extra stuff that I'm carrying in this chest behind me. 
but yeah you can see that the lava is now out of the bucket so we don't need to leave the lava bucket in there anymore but this is going to be plenty of fuel to actually melt all of this iron ore um, lava is a very efficient way to do that uh, the only problem is now we have to go find more lava which I mean there is a lot of if we if worse comes to worse we can go into the nether and get some but I'm going to show you guys how to make a piston because we're going to be using that for some other projects pretty soon and we'll need some redstone some iron some cobble and some spruce planks you need sp or well any type of wood really across the top uh, cobble on the sides a piece of iron in the center and a piece of redstone on the bottom gives you a piston so we're gonna make that and out of inventory space gotta drop something in that chest behind us so let me do that real quick just drop off some of this cobble we won't need to carry all that and we're gonna make a couple more pistons actually I'm gonna try to get six because I think that's how many we're gonna need for this next project but I think we're going to be a little short on wood, actually. But we'll make as many as we can right now. Yeah, we're going to be... Looks like two pieces short on wood, so... We'll make four right now, and then... Go ahead and get some more planks here. There we go. And we'll make our final one. And that'll free up some inventory spots too so we're, we're left with six pistons so I'm gonna show you guys you can see the lava bucket has really not even been touched and we've already smelted uh, 10 iron there so one piece of coal only gives you eight iron so there's it's a pretty good return on cobble or I'm sorry on lava but I'm gonna show you guys real quickly um, how a piston works in general and this is a regular piston not a sticky piston so we're gonna actually use sticky pistons for our project but for now we've only built the regular ones and I'm gonna show you the difference so we're gonna grab our pistons and I think we're gonna need a lever here so we'll put a piston on the ground put a piece of cobble in front of it and we'll make ourselves a lever that way we can activate the piston and we need to do that the other way there we go so that'll give us a leather or lever and go ahead and put that next to it or above it and that's basically how the piston works so when we flip this switch back up it'll retract now you can see the piece of cobble has been moved it, it didn't re retract with it that's the difference a regular piston will just push something away a sticky piston will actually pull it back so if that was a sticky piston and we flipped it up it would pull the piece of cobble back so that's what we're gonna actually use for our door project that we're gonna work on but for now that's what a regular piston does guys so that's pretty much it for this episode and I'm going to catch up with you guys on the next episode.